In today's weather forecast, we're tracking a storm system across the west that will be moving into the plains by the weekend, triggering a threat of severe weather, especially for the deep south. But of course, this storm system could trigger quite a bit of snow too. So in today's weather forecast, we'll break down all those details. Welcome back everybody, it's David Schlothauer here in the home weather office. Looking out the window right now, we got cloudy skies, the winds are picking up as we get our next batch of rain and some gusty winds this afternoon into Thursday. So it's going to be an active week ahead for California standards before we get dry, but that means somewhere else we're going to get a lot of active weather. So looking at the Euro model for this afternoon on Monday, December the 18th, 2023, we can see this is a system that we were tracking a couple of days ago in my video, bringing the threat for strong winds, heavy rainfall, and that's what's going on today. So if you're in the Northeast, please do not go outside. I know it's Monday and you need to get your Christmas shopping done. Maybe wait another day or maybe a couple before this active weather moves out of the area. It's also going to get a bit cooler as we have cooler air coming in out of the north. But look at this across the west too. It's kind of a coast to coast situation where we have a lot of rainfall and a little bit of snow for the higher elevations. But this one in California is going to stick around for a few more days. The Midwest looking pretty dry today. So if you do have any shopping, today is the day to do it because pattern is going to change over the next few days. So like say uh, late this week into the weekend, we'll be looking at another round of maybe some severe weather for the deep south. But look at this, for Wednesday, December the 20th, we can see that system still hugging California, bringing still some gusty winds, some moderate to heavy rainfall, maybe some thunderstorms too expected. And this even continues over Southern California all the way through Friday. I mean, you're gonna get quite a bit of moisture out of this and then eventually into the desert Southwest by Saturday, where then by Sunday, December the 24th is when we're gonna see that next shot of rain and some severe weather. You can even see some convective-like shower nature down here in Texas. The Louisiana area, that's an indication we might have some instability to work with and enough of it to trigger severe weather. And this system really gets going by Monday, December the 25th. So looks like now for some locations, you might have a white Christmas after all, but for the good majority of you all, not going to see much in the way of a white Christmas. Instead, you're going to see lots of rainfall on your rainy Christmas day. And then here it is in the high plains, according to the Euro is that's what it's indicating right now. But if we look at the GFS model, let's go to the US GFS. We can see a little bit of a different story, lesser snow, and it's a little further to the north, but still the same old system that it's been modeling here. And there's some good agreement that we're going to have another active early week next week as far as the weather goes. Back to our European model, let's go forward. Showers move into the Northeast by Tuesday, December the 26th. You can see over here uh, off the Louisiana coast, you got more showers. But of course, no one lives out there, you know, but pretty dry overall. And yeah, if we go back to Christmas one last time, you can see the West going to have some drier weather just in time for Christmas shopping. If you have anything to do before Christmas is the time to do it. And then by the end of the very fo uh, end of forecast here, we're looking at drier conditions uh, for the Midwest and for much of the West. Not really a lot of active weather versus the GFS model wants to bring in a system over California. And this one could be a strong one potentially by Wednesday next week. So there's a lot of variability to work out for the West as far as that goes, but pretty good agreement here among the both the Euro and the GFS for next week's Midwest storm that could bring us a round of severe weather and heavy rainfall. Now, total accumulated precipitation will be dependent on what model you're looking at. If we look at the Euro model, we can see most of the rainfall will fall over California through the middle of this week. Of course, for the deep south with that next system coming in, you might see about an inch and a half to a couple of inches. Not really a lot going on in Tennessee or in North Dakota. Pretty quiet overall when it comes to that. But if we look at our US GFS model uh, in a comparison, we have more rain potentially by the middle of next week and also a little more that the GFS is thinking 
over eastern Texas as well as Louisiana and Mississippi, including for, um, say, Arkansas and Missouri, we might get at least a couple of inches of accumulated precipitation. Now, as far as our snowfall totals go, you can see the higher elevations are going to take the lead as far as the most snowfall with that latter part of the weekend. In the Christmas uh, snow uh, storm, I should say, is going to be kind of falling right around Christmas time. You could see anywhere between about 6 to 12 inches for the valleys, maybe for the higher elevations here and for the higher valleys might end up seeing at least 12 to 18 inches of snowfall. Now for the highest peaks, so like again, some of the tallest mountains that favor the most snow could get as much as one to two feet of snow with that snowstorm for early next week, right around Christmas time. Now, why is the pattern so complicated? Well, if we take a look at our 500 millibar wind chart here, we can see there's our system that's moving through right now. There's a little bit of a trough here. This is positively tilted, so not much, a whole lot of dynamics to work with here. This is going to be leading to a ridge in its wake, so we can see higher pressure really building in. The weather's going to get quieter, not much to track at all. Pretty quiet week, actually, for much of the eastern half, so any Christmas shopping should be rushed to completion. But if you're down here across Southern California, going to be a soggy week ahead, it looks like because of that system. By Saturday and then by Sunday, is this is when our system gets um, rolling. We have this area of low pressure over the four corners. We have um, difluent flow aloft. So we have these uh, ISO lines that go out like this a little bit, and that's going to increase moisture for ascent and a lot of forcing uh, in play. And the ending result will be that system that tries to develop. And it just kind of rolls all along. So it goes all the way from over here. It just kind of meanders and just kind of goes into the northern portion uh, or the upper Midwest, I should say, by Thursday. But of course, this is a highly uncertain forecast as far as the exact track of this is. But we know it's going to be there because if we look at the GFS, it has a similar outcome. But only this time there's a ridge up here to the north. So we have a blockade pattern, a omega block, ridge to the north, trough to the south. And so this is a complicated forecast. And therefore, we're not going to know for sure. And each model run here is slightly different than the last one. But for one thing is that there's going to be a trough that kind of hangs around here in the southeastern U.S. by early next week through the middle of next week too. Now it's a good idea that we do take a look at our temperature anomalies because it's not going to feel like Christmas very much for many locations because of the ridge. We got a lot of large scale ridging over Canada over the northern plains and that's going to really yield to warmer than average temperatures we can see that here on the european ensemble again this is 51 members that run the ensemble forecast and most of them are averaging out that you might see temperatures here 30 degrees plus above average okay over saskatchewan manitoba if you're in quebec ontario canada it's going to be warmer than it should be. And of course, down here in the Midwest and the High Plains, really warm, okay, for the weekend. And this could continue or will continue perhaps into Christmas. I mean, look at this. Sunday morning through Monday morning, so days six and seven, you can see temperatures anywhere between 15 to as much as 25 degrees above average across Iowa, the Northern Plains. It's going to be a warm Christmas. I can bet you on that. Santa Claus might want to take off his heavy jacket and his scarf that he uses on his sleigh because mm -hmm. temperatures are going to be above normal. And then, of course, if you are in Canada, temperatures are also well above average. I mean, look at this. This is just kind of insane. Really warm all throughout here. And then actually uh, below average temperatures to near average for the Four Corners and also for California, which I guess that means what? It means more stormy weather is coming back across the West, especially beyond Christmas Day. I'm very confident that if you're in the Central Valley, if you're in the Bay Area, if you follow me locally on Twitter, on uh, my website, I'm very confident that Christmas Day will be dry. Unlike last year, it was really stormy, so we can kind of get 
a breather, and you can do a lot of your shopping. Because after that, things turn wetter, as you can see there on our precipitation anomaly. Our 7-day average on the Ensemble from the Euro does indicate that it's going to be much wetter than it normal versus also for the Southeast too, wetter than average, below average there for portions of the Central U.S. as well as maybe portions of the Great Lakes. Now, of course, this is going to change like any other model. If we look at our previous forecast on the Ensemble, here we go. We can see how it all has changed, and if we go to now, it is uh, actually wait. No, this kind of went kind of backfired on me. So if we looked at yesterday's run, you can see how there is some subtle changes, and this is just again an average and an ensemble. Okay, this is not your deterministic forecast. I don't like using deterministics this far out. We always go with the ensembles, and right now trending wet for the west and also wetter for the southeast typical with an el nino pattern well with that being said i want to show you all my website if you guys haven't checked it out yet please consider doing so because again you guys are really awesome and okay what happened there let's fix this schlock dog david let's go right over to the website there we go i guess i clicked on a wrong link so if you haven't checked out my sacramento weather center office um, page here my website please consider doing so i have not done a blog in quite some time it's because work work gets in the way of everything and it, i can't type this up in literally 30 seconds it takes me like a couple of hours to do this so if you guys want to support my page um please visit sacramentoweathercenter.com again sacramentoweathercenter.com there will be a link in the description and lastly if you all want to check out my twitter page as well there's also a link in the description below this video i recently uploaded this um do you not ever see this this is actually a recon mission a few days ago getting better data for the models um to better predict um, these weather patterns over the pacific and they did conduct a mission a couple of days ago i haven't checked back since then but that's what they did and i was like whoa it's like hurricane hunters in my backyard it's like right off the coast here that they did this and so if you guys want to check my twitter uh page out you guys can do so right now link in the description below this video but otherwise if you all want to subscribe to the channel please consider doing so um hit by hitting the red subscribe button well i don't know if it's red anymore but either way hit the button if you haven't already and also hit the like button if you did like today's video and leave an awesome comment in the section below as always i try my best folks at uploading a video as often as I can possible, but sometimes I just end up with something else, with family, with work, and you know, things change just like the weather does, right? So if you guys wanna support me today, please consider doing so. But anyways, I will be back with you more with the weather tomorrow as I will be uploading at 4 p.m. Here's a look at the schedule. You can find it also on my community post.